Hey guys, so this is the second video on profit uh, uh, in which uh, I discuss basically only accuracy or accuracy and power as well. So uh, I'm gonna show you videos of me shooting at 60 yards, 55 meters and 70 meters, which is about 78 yards. This is what I have done really thoroughly till now. I will give you also longer ranges afterwards, but uh, my range is kind of, you will see that in the video, I mean, most of you already know, is kind of limited. I mean, if I'm shooting at 70 meters, I'm actually shooting through, there is a, like a hill in between, so I'm shooting really close to the ground and I actually have to cut grass before I do that, just to make sure that, I mean, I may even miss some grass and it's flying almost, uh, pellet is almost flying through the grass. And it's also not uh, optimal for optics, neither the camera or the scope because there is a lot of mirage and uh, mirage can trick you, it can bounce uh, and uh, bend light uh, in terms that uh, you are not actually uh, physically aiming at the correct uh, position. But And also my setup is not perfect, I mean uh, uh, the bench is not really good, it's just a big uh, metal barrel <laughs> and I put sandbag on it. Uh, so, uh, not making any excuses, but uh, the reason why I'm explaining this is because kind of this setup now is kind of the first one when I, myself, as well as my circumstances where I shoot, kind of feel inadequate to really show you the potentials of this gun. And I'm sure that most of you will, a lot of you will even get better results than I did here, although even my results are extremely good already. So uh, what I did is made uh, two ranges, two di distances as I mentioned. I tested two different pellets and actually uh, one of the pellet, uh, so the uh, monster redesign, I test tested two varieties of it as I mentioned in the previous video. There is what I think it's an older version which seems to do better than the newer version. I'm not sure if the newer and the older is actually what what is available there maybe the old one will still be available and sh certainly rti through f uh, and i am pushing jsb to make sure that they still make that uh, version that it's better uh, but in any case uh, here are the results so one of the tests were that were done with um, jumbo heavy I intentionally set this gun, which is the uh, performance uh, configuration, I intentionally set it to the same parameters that you get with the base version with this one. So what I did is set the pressure to 125 bars and put the, this uh, adjustment screw to zero, which, which is basically flat here. And with that, I get 1000 feet per second with jumbo heavies. And uh, I tested those only at 55 meters, so, so 60 yards approximately, uh, simply because uh, bigger ranges, uh, uh, I, it's too susceptible to wind and things like that. And my range is always with some wind. So it's, that doesn't tell you the accuracy of the gun only, but also the conditions. So this is, uh, let's say, no brainer. Uh, just let me find the correct group because these are all my test targets so I sh shoot a lot of it uh, a lot different guns in it actually so this is the yeah this is the 50 meter so this is the best group that I shoot shot you can see my finger compared to it and this is the worst group so I'm sure as you can imagine this is just a ridiculous accurate accuracy so no point in debating that really a lot so this is with a long range barrel this barrel loves for the pellets to go fast so groups like this and this are very common at 60 yards for this barrel of course with a good enough pellet uh, and uh, if we go from here on at the time i was shooting for si in, at 60 yards i only had the not so good monsters redesign and this is the groups you can expect. I will show you a little more videos probably in terms of how I got to this setting. Uh, and this was done at also about 1000 feet per second. Um, so this is with the not so good monster design. And if we go forward to 70 meters or 76 yards, then those groups get much tighter because at that time I already had the good 
the good palette and uh, with the good monster redesign sorry this is the accuracy you can expect uh, and uh, by the way you can see in most of the groups you can see one shot first to the left here and that is simply because i wanted for the test to have uh, for the gun to have always the same conditions once i start and i deliberately left that first shot in which is just after recharging the bottle and that is normal that at that time the gun will be uh, the pressure might be slightly off on the regulator because you just put uh, some air in it and there is some temperature differences and things like that so uh, of course if this was a competition i would always fire the first shot either dry shot it or somewhere else and then started the side test and then started the target and etc etc so 76 yards this group and uh, this one is shot at about 1000 feet per second but the cool thing is with the good uh, monsters redesign that you can go much higher and this group again left shot i think not what um, i don't know which one of this is the first left shot uh, but in any case this group is whole magazine at 1040 feet per second and this is what this gun with monster they design really really loves and there is no worries of pellets being unstable you can shoot them as far as you like they will track perfectly and that's kind of the reasons re reason why we went to this uh, barrel and there is uh, a lot of this uh, discussion uh, regarding why why would you want to continue with pellets if you can shoot slugs and yeah that's a fair question of course i agree with that i shoot slugs all time uh, a lot of time uh, I, I like it but if you thinking about competitions a lot of these competitions go really long range and they request you to shoot pellets so having an option to shoot pellets at low uh, at high velocity and still retaining stability and accuracy it's actually very useful because despite the fact that the pellet is slowing down really fast you are still reaching that same distance at much shorter time overall and still that brings uh, more uh, so less uh, sensitivity to wind and other conditions so there are benefits to this uh, and uh, definitely you can see this here uh, there are some there is some wind in the videos you will see and you will see that it's not really an issue I'm, I'm not correcting for wind at all here and um, maybe I will mention also this group this one is shot at slightly lower velocity so this one was just below 1000 feet per second still good accuracy so uh, I could do this as well with uh, the light ones and 1000 feet per second at lower pressure of course but uh, I think that that would not be fair because just the wind would just uh, blow it in all directions so it's uh, kind of unfair uh, for determining the accuracy of the gun of course um, uh, one more thing about the setup that I had so somehow for this high velocity 180 bars on the regulator is kind of perfect and this regulator actually keeps that pressure really well so you can go even slightly over 180 safely without being concerned that it's at its end point it will also do excellently everything from 100 and above so you have kind of both directions you have really good op operation of the regulator so if you get a performance version you kind of do what you like you can get to low pressure and shoot the lighter heavies that sounds ironic but uh, that's how they're named <laughs> or heavier uh, monsters uh, but in any case you shouldn't shoot uh, beasts because beasts will not be accurate at longer ranges simply because this barrel does not have enough thist to stabilize them and the beast kind of act uh, almost as a slug already so as i mentioned barrel is for pellets not for slugs so that's it enjoy the video and um, thanks for watching see you in the next one make sure you click subscribe bell notification uh, hopefully we'll have uh, soon uh, longer ranges and also uh, different uh, calibers as well okay so now i've set it to about 125 bars and also release the hammer spring to the default let's say the flush 
option and this is kind of what uh, what would give you now the base model performance so this is what you would get on a non-adjustable version so i didn't cite it in so we, we may be a little off so we'll see right now Oh, by the way, I'm using now the GSB Jumbo Heavy pellets, not the Monsters. And also you can see some fluctuation of the uh, regulator because I just adjusted it. So I just put everything as it should be and started to shoot. So it will settle probably now. Yep. Okay, so I guess we can see where this is going. Okay, so <clears throat> let's make one more group, but this time shooting from the magazine. We've got definitely more wind than we did before, so let's just do our best. And the wind shifted a bit. That's okay.
Uh, I will be shooting right now the, the JSB Monsters redesign, which is kind of deep palette for this barrel. This is the long range barrel in it, so because it's performance. Uh, unfortunately, not all monster redesign palettes are the same. It, they are different from batch to batch, and these are actually slightly less accurate than what I'm used to, because they have a slightly deeper hole in the back and uh, they have a thinner skirt. So, but still, they they work quite well. So, let's just make a string of shots. I'm I was waiting for the wind to come down so right now we have quite steady uh, circumstances so it's not windy and hopefully we will be able to do this so i will be loading a uh, uh, single loading the gun just to remove any uh, effects from the magazine uh, and i will also do a shot string afterwards with uh, with the magazine Flyer. So you see that I'm forming a group now on the side because the wind is just not steady here. I mean it's changing and you see that now I'm hitting this group constantly. We have some more wind. The wind started to blow from the left side. I can see it on the trees. So the group will definitely move now to the right side.
That's still okay. No idea how many shots I took. I'm just shooting. Okay. Recharged it, so first shot might be a little off. I pull it a little bit, but not too much. Okay, we're out. So you can clearly see what this gun with this barrel, the long range, is capable of. Uh, I'm not have, don't have the best rest case here. I'm putting the gun a little bit forward and backwards, so it's slightly might fall a, a fault. I don't get even tighter group. And uh, you could also see in the crony that the first couple of shots were lower. That's simply because I just made the settings on the hammer spring and. 
usually it's better to make setting make i don't know 20 shots to really everything settle in and then you can start looking for accuracy but of course i'm doing for this for the video so i go through it a little faster i we expect the first shot to be slightly off because i recharge the bottle Okay, so this will be the first shot. Now the velocity will probably not be very consistent now because we have too high pressure for this uh, hammer spring tension. So the hammer spring tension is too low. But we'll see what happens. Second shot will probably a bit, a bit higher, not too much, but a bit. Okay, that's cool. That means that uh, the regulator does not have almost any creep. Ah, mosquitoes. This one was slightly unstable, so probably damage skirt. Got some wind from the left. No. Like this, this will be probably the highest power settings available. with this pressure of course oh, mosquitoes are eating me and you're also shooting very close to the ground so hopefully none of the pellets will actually touch the <laughs> grass
No, I had one really high, but overall I would say that this is still a very nice group considering this really really high velocity. Thanks for watching guys.